So you want a staffy, but you have no idea what it should cost or what you might be in for if something goes wrong. Oh, and what will upkeep cost too? Fear not, we have you covered. Stick around for a full breakdown of what a staffy will cost you. Welcome back to the Fenrir Staffy Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Staffy and then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Staffy. So if you're a lifelong Staffy lover, you're thinking about getting one or you've just started your journey with your new Staffordshire Bull Terrier, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Staffy video. The first thing we need to figure out is, are you gonna rescue your Staffy or are you gonna go the breeder route? Adoption is a great choice for getting your next canine companion. And if you go to a rescue, you can expect to pay anywhere from 50 to 250 US dollars in adoption fees. But maybe you want a puppy who has had health testing or know what kind of temperament you're getting, which is what responsible breeders are there for. You can expect a Staffy puppy to cost anywhere between $1,500 to $2,000. If you can drive to get the dog, excellent. If not, you're gonna to need to cover transportation fees. If you can find a reliable ground transport company, you can expect to spend around $300 to $700, depending on how far away the dog is. Sometimes these transport companies also have routes, so if that's the case, there might be a slight delay as the transporter won't be able to pick up the dog until they are in that area. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world, and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels, and maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. Flying might very well be a better option depending on the size of your dog. If your breeder is in a more remote area there are some stringent weight restrictions at smaller airports and this can cost you $350 and up for a domestic flight. If your staff is in another country and they need to take an international flight things can get incredibly expensive. Keep in mind, if the dog has to fly internationally, they cannot do so without a health certificate and rabies vaccine. Rabies shots are not given until 12 weeks old, and there is a two week holding period at least after the vaccination has been given, meaning your puppy cannot fly until they are at least 14 weeks of age. If you fly to get the puppy yourself, you need to budget for anything from $400 to $1,000. This is just for the dog. You will need to purchase your own ticket as well. Or you can hire a company that specializes in this. These will cost you $1,200 and up, but they will pick up your Safi, fly with it, and handle everything at customs for you. You will also need toys, treats, bowls, a crate, collar, leash, vaccinations, parasite prevention, and food at a bare minimum. And for the Staffy, you will also need to consider pet insurance. There is also one other thing that we can't quantify for you because it is such a moving target. Some insurance companies will raise your premium for homeowner's insurance or refuse to cover you if you have a Staffy. It is unfortunate, but if you have dreamed of owning a Staffy, be aware that you might also have to shop around for an insurance provider. But back to the bare bones list. Here's the breakdown for those items. Toys, $50. Decent quality treats, $15. Bowls, $14. Crate, $50. Collar, $25. Leash, $15. Good quality food, $45. Vaccinations, $109, not including boosters. And parasite prevention is $60 for a six month supply. If we go with the puppy from the higher price range because of the health concerns with this breed, at $1,750 with no transportation needed and no bare bones list, you'll be looking at $2,133 from day one. Next, it's essential to talk about what might go wrong with your Staffy as far as health complications and what this might cost you. If your Staffy gets hip or elbow dysplasia, you're looking at $3,000 to $7,000 for corrective surgery, and this amount is just for one hip or one elbow. If your Staffy ends up with dermatitis, you can expect to pay anywhere from $100 to $500 for treatment. Hypothyroidism is also a problem within this breed, and if your Staffy develops this disease, you'll be spending $10 to $35 a month on medication. The average cost for a Staffy is $1,133 per year. This amount can quickly increase if you feed a raw diet or use dog
dog services like a groomer or a doggy daycare. Extras like this that your dog can significantly benefit from can push your yearly costs into the thousands per year, but it can also reduce the risk of costly health problems later on in life. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and if so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section below, and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated staffy videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Staffy Show.